When you file an insurance claim or personal injury lawsuit, one of the first things the insurer or defense team will do is scrutinize your social media accounts. They're looking for any evidence that might contradict your claims about the accident, your injuries, or how they've impacted your life. For example, if you claim the accident caused severe mobility issues, but post pictures of yourself working out or dancing, defense attorneys can use this to argue that your injuries aren't as severe as you say. Even overlooked features of your social media profiles can serve as evidence. For instance, your list of Facebook friends might reveal potential witnesses or help establish a witness's possible bias. During the discovery phase of a lawsuit, attorneys will request access to your social media. If you refuse, they can file a motion to compel. For social media evidence to be admitted in court, it must be relevant, not outweighed by countervailing considerations and authenticated. There are some practical steps you can take to protect your social media during a case. Set your account to private. While not foolproof, setting your social media accounts to private may limit the visibility of your posts. Avoid accepting new friend or follower requests. Even if you think you know the person, it's possible that they could be acting on behalf of the defense. Avoid discussing your case online. Avoid mentions of the accident, your injuries, legal strategies, or even your feelings about the case. Encourage your friends and family to do the same. Avoid posting about physical activities or travel. Posts that show you engaging in physical activities or traveling can be used to argue that your injuries are not as severe as claimed. Assume everything can be recovered. Deleted posts can often be recovered through digital forensics. Assume anything you post online is permanent and can be accessed by the defense.